So Daniel asks, I spent some time with an atheist friend this week who I had not seen since becoming Orthodox. He was curious about my conversion, but I feel as though we were talking past each other. He kept speaking to me as if I was a fundamentalist. Yeah, that's going to happen. I feel as though I didn't do a good job of explaining the Orthodox understanding of God. My friend even went as far as to say that thoughts aren't real. Whatever. How do you explain this sort of stuff to materialists and people who are so invested in science and empiricism? Yeah, I mean, you've got a long road ahead of you. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I think there are tools right now. And so I think, I mean, obviously that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm sure you might be able to find toolkits in the things that I talk about, which is, right, and so the idea of science and empiricism when we talk with when John Ravaki and I talk about something like uh, combinatorial explosion, the problem of multiplicity and unity. And so it's like if you can bring someone into that space where they're thinking about that, like the fact that things exist both as all things exist both as multiples and unities at the same time, that they seem to have parts and have unity together, that I think I think that if you can start to get them into that space, then at some point they'll start to to understand that they're like the, the, the saying that thoughts aren't real is just the dumbest i mean it's such a dumb statement it's like but sorry i don't want to insult your friend or anything but 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 you have to you i, mean, I think bringing them into that space like of understanding the necessity of consciousness and all that it may be, be a way to kind of approach it but but uh but i know the feeling man i know the feeling and i also know like the kind of contempt or that look in the eye of your atheist friend that thinks you're some kind of an idiot and then them not knowing, not understanding what you're talking about at the same time. I know that feeling. You, you really, you really gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on to that, right? You gotta grab onto that and take it as like joy. You really have to, every time some like materialist atheist looks at you and looks at you like you're a 10 year old and you're a superstitious idiot and, and you know, you're a, uh, you you just got to smile and you just got to you got to really take it as joy because that's really the best way to do it or else or else it's unbearable you know <laughs> uh you you okay so explaining it what i what do i mean you have to take it as really as something like in this case like with with this with the person like that you have to take it like i have a secret understanding like I have a secret understanding that this person standing in front of me, I have like, it's like I, I have this giant treasure, the secret treasure. This person like can't see it. They, they can't see it. And so it's like, that's what I mean by you have to find joy in it. Because especially if you've worked it out, especially if you know that these things are like a lot of these questions and 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 uh, discussions are bring about the inevitability of, of of in, invisible patterns right it's like you know so you just so you just gotta you just gotta take that as joy like yeah i've got this beautiful treasure and you can't see it i'm sorry man sorry for you bro that's all you could do 